Welcome back, YouTube. Episode eight of President's Play Wordle. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Superman. What is wrong with you, Joe? This is a very special episode and useless sleepy Joe already ruined it. Sorry, guys, I just wish I was Superman. This is Custom Wordle, where we pick categories and the other two presidents compete against each other. This video is awesome. Subscribe to Parody Gaming. My turn first and my category is something I absolutely love. Ruining speeches, eating ice cream, and sucking up to Obama don't fit Biden. I can't think of a single four-letter word of something Joe loves. Oh. I know exactly what it is. I highly doubt you know it, Trump. We need a clue, Joe. One guess each, and I will give you both the first clue. A four-letter word of something Joe loves. The answer is raid. Raid? Why have you typed raid Trump? Oh, my God. Trump actually got us a sponsor. That's right, Sleepy Joe. Oh, my God, you legend Donald. Pay attention, YouTube. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. We know you have heard of it before, and it's a rite of passage on YouTube being sponsored by the greatest game of all time. It has awesome champions, insane PvP, and PvE content, and really fun tactical upgrade systems. Oh, that sounds amazing. Raid Shadow Legends is amazing, Joe, and is a must-play for everyone right now. Remember, Raid is completely free to play. Raid has been dominating the mobile gaming market for four years now. With over 700 unique champions, you can collect hundreds of the most powerful champions, each with their own unique set of skills and abilities. Sleepy Joe can't even count to over 700, but I can tell you, that is a lot of champions. I do know 700 is a crazy amount of champions, Trumpy Rumpy, and they all look really fun. It's impossible to not find the champion that is perfect for you with so many to choose from and more being added all the time. Raid also has 15 awesome factions and some of the most insane PvP content we have ever seen. That's right, Donald. Lizard men, orcs, and the undead are just a few of what Raid has to offer. The elven warriors are my favorite. Obama is clearly a brutal orc warlord and Biden reminds me of the terrifying undead horrors. Hey, I like the dwarves faction too. Yes, but you are basically a zombie, Joe, so the undead faction is for you. I'm okay with that, but what about the PvP content? That's what sounds really exciting. It is, Joe, you can rise up the ranks and prove yourself against other players around the world in either classic mode, tag team, and the newly added live arena. Of course, I'm the most powerful summoner in raid and dominate the live area every single day. I prefer fighting in the dungeons. There's 12 of them and they are all really fun to play. And and I'm more of a PC gamer, which is perfect as Raid can be played on both mobile and desktop now. I actually can't believe how much new content is in Raid now. Yes, Joe, and with over 400 million players worldwide, it really is worth trying out. You might be wondering why Raid is sponsoring us today. And that's because of the promotion they're running to get the Monkey King legend for free. The Monkey King is called Sun Wukong Donald, and all you have to do to get him for free is to log in on Raid for seven different days between August 22nd and October 23rd. Oh, that is ages. I'm going to unlock him in the first week. Yes, you can, Joe. There isn't a crazy quest or challenge to unlock him either. Just log in and you get him for free. With so much exciting content coming to Raid, you need to try it out today. And we have a crazy promo code for our viewers today. Yes, that's correct, Trump. If you are a new Raid Shadow Legends player, you can get one of the best epic champions called Stagnite and a crazy skin for him designed by John Tron himself. And to get Stagnite in his skin, just use the promo code JTSKIN before October 7th. That's J-T-S-K-I-N. You also get a free starter pack with all this amazing in-game loot if you scan our QR codes on the top left of the screen. Check out the link in our description and pinned comment and all three of us will see you in the battlefield. Download Raid Shadow Legends for free today. That was amazing, Donald. Let's get back to Wordle. Have another guess as you deserve it. Biden is useless, but he also loves pranking me. So my first official guess is bomb. Jesus Christ. I do love pranking you, Trumpy Rumpy, but it's 100% not bomb. Can we go one video without you shouting bomb, nuke, or the N-word? You are so boring, Obama, and it's your turn. So let's hear your really boring word for something that sleepy, useless, crusty Joe likes. Can we have our first clue, Joe? We only have one green letter so far. Sure thing, Obama-rama. Your first clue is that it's something I can eat or drink. Oh, it could be fist, as in, I'm going to punch Biden so hard in the face he can eat my fist. The only f***ing happening here, Trumpy Rumpy, is when you are going to prison. Oh my God, that is brutal, Joe. Take your f***ing guess, Obama. I'm getting bored of listening to this dementia-ridden waste of oxygen. Stop rushing me, Trump, you asshole. Take your time, Obama-rama. Don't forget it's something I love and I can eat or drink Considering it. Considering you're incredibly old, Joe, my guess is soup. You can eat and drink it, and I'm sure you love it. Oh, that is a great guess, Obama-rama. I do love soup. Absolutely nobody in the comments are surprised how boring that guess was, Obama. At least it wasn't f bomb again for the 1,000th time. Yeah, come up with a new joke, Trumpy Rumpy. Bomb is getting old. The only thing f 
Old here is you sleepy Joe. And bomb isn't a joke, it's something I love very, very much. More than my wife, in fact. You can't say that, Donald. Sure he can, I hear his wife really does suck. But not as much as the other men in the prison he's going to. They suck a lot more, if you know what I mean. Keep my wife's name out of your goddamn mouth. You insulted her first Trump? You said you love bombs more than your wife? Yes, but sleepy useless Joe should be dead instead of insulting my third favorite thing in the world. Third, what the f Donald Michelle is my number one favorite thing along with my children. What's number two, Trumpy Rumpy? It goes bombs, money, and then my family. I feel sick. Please pick your next word, Trump. My word is joke. I think Biden's pranking us with his clues, and he's a f***ing joke to me. Screw you, Trumpy Rumpy the Grumpy. Oh, nice one, Trump. Three green letters, and I think I know the answer. Is it broke? As in Biden has no money and he's broke. No, I think it's Coke, something he loves and drinks. The clue should have been something he snorts. You don't drink your Coke, Biden, you stupid old man. You snort it with your son, Hunter. The answer is Coke, as in Coca-Cola Trump, or Diet Coke, in your case, you fat orange asshole. Sick burn Biden, and your turn Trump. And if the answer is bomb, I'm leaving this video. My turn, you losers, and I have picked my word. Screw you, Donald. What is your category? The category I've picked is things I hate. Things you hate? You seem so laid back, chill and relaxed all the time, Donald. I didn't think you hated anything. That is definitely not how I would describe Trump. Yes, I am the most calm and relaxed person on the planet. But I have picked an eight-letter word, and this is something I hate with an absolute passion. Well, it can't be ice cream, because no one hates ice cream. Honestly, this word could be literally anything. Is there even anything you actually like, Trump? I like smashing your wife's cheeks, Obama. Donald, leave Michelle out of this. Damn, Obama, chill, bro. It was just a prank. Just because you have your hair back now, Donald, does not mean you can bully Obama now. Shut up, Biden. No one asked for your opinion. Go play in traffic or something. Obama, hurry up and take your guess. I'm going for the word innocent because you clearly hate being innocent with all the charges going against you recently. <laughs> Good one, Obama Rama. Trump, you're going to prison. Why does it every time you laugh, Biden, it sounds like someone is shoving a 12 foot pole up your ass? It's not a pole, it's just an ice cream cone. What the f? Joe. Take your guess, you sick, twisted, spotted zombie. I think I know what it is. I think I know what Trump hates the most in the world. Let's hear it then, Joe. I don't think I can say it because it's offensive. Oh, no. Now I'm worried. It's not the N-word, you idiot. Are you sure? Because you always put the N-word. I have literally never put the N-word. Take your guess now. The viewers are getting bored of you, Biden. Give me a clue. Is it a race of people by any chance? What the f***? Joe, don't bring race into this. Take your guess and I will give you another clue when you get it wrong. Fine, the word I'm going for is Mexicans because we all know Trump hates Mexicans. He even tried building a wall to keep them away from him. That is fake news, Sleepy Joe. I love Taco Bell and I love Mexicans. Okay, Trump, if you love Mexicans so much, what is your favorite thing about them? I love when they're on the other side of my wall, hundreds and hundreds of miles away from me. I don't think you can say that, Trumpy Rumpy. You're an idiot, Donald. You are going to get us canceled. So I'm not allowed to build a wall, but you're you're allowed to drone strike every single country in the Middle East, Obama. That sounds racist to me. Trump has got a point, Obama. Don't start calling me Obama again, Joe. And no, he doesn't have a point. Trump doesn't even know what racist means. He's one of the most racist people I have ever met. Just hurry up and take your guess, Obama, you racist. Okay, screw you. I'm going for the word religion because knowing Trump and how insensitive he is, he probably hates religion. Wrong. What the hell, Obama? So you are racist and you also hate religious people now? Not gonna lie, that's pretty messed up, Obama. I thought you were a nice person. I hate when you two team up together. It doesn't feel right. The viewers all know I'm not racist or have anything against religious people. The viewers hate you, Obama. They all think you're racist. Let's find out. Comment below, guys, if you think Obama is racist or not. Also, please like the video. We are going for 5,000 likes on this video. Yes, get this video to 5,000 likes for us to carry on the Wordle series. And I will also punch Joe Biden straight in the face for no reason. What the hell, Trumpy Rumpy? I thought we were friends for a second there. Don't hate the player. Hate the game, Biden. That's Joe's guess. Do we get another clue yet, Trump? Okay, the clue is, it's either a person or a type of person I hate with all my heart. Oh, God, I think I know what it is. Me too, Obama-rama. My guess is the Japanese. Oh, my God, this is actually the episode we're going to get canceled. Why would Trump hate the Japanese Joe? Me and Donnie went to a sushi restaurant once, and he accidentally ate a blob of wasabi. He thought it was ranch sauce with green food coloring in it. And he was shouting some very offensive things towards the Japanese while in pain from the wasabi. What the f are you on about Sleepy Joe, you senile freak? I've never gone to a sushi restaurant with you. For a matter of fact, I would never bring myself to be in public with you, ever. Did you just make that story up, Joe? Come to think of it, I think that was just my dream I had last night. So now you're having dreams about me, you sick old pervert? Okay, let's settle back down, guys. Trump, I think I know what this word is, and if it's right, it is really mean, and I think it will hurt his feelings. Why, what is the word? I hope the word is not ice cream, because that would hurt my feelings. It's obviously not ice cream, you useless bag of dust. 
guess. Just look at the letters. Obama, just hurry up and guess. Fine, I'm putting in the word, but Joe, don't be offended, please. Trump is just being an asshole. <laughs> Get wrecked, Biden, you freak. I hate you. Ouch, Trumpy Rumpy. Words hurt. Do you really hate me? I thought we were friends. Why would you think we were friends? I have never been nice to you ever. I thought you were just joking all those times. Every time I have wished you were dead, Biden. I 100% meant it every time. Donald, stop being mean. You apologize to Joe right now. Fine, I'm sorry or whatever. I don't believe you, Trumpy Rumpy. Say it like you mean it, Trump. Uh, fine. I am very sorry I said I hate you, Joe. I did not mean it. I promise to not call you old or senile for the rest of the video. Yay, I got Trumpy Rumpy to say sorry. We are best friends. Thanks, Donnie. Shut up, you old senile freak. It's your turn to pick a word. Hurry up. Great, that apology lasted less than 10 seconds. Okay, boys, I'm doing something slightly different for my round. We're going to play Google Feud. What the f is Google Feud, Obama? It's like Family Feud, but with Google. I love Family Feud. How does it work, Obama-rama? We can pick any of the categories we see on the screen, and and it will show commonly searched Google results. And we have to fill in the blanks and guess the rest of the sentence. And you gain more points if you guess the more searched results. And you are allowed four wrong guesses. Whoever scores the most points wins the game. I'm in Obama. Go on the people category and I'll show you why I'm the king of Google feud. Who's going first then? I will go first and show you losers how to do it. Okay, Donald's going first and you have to try and fill in the phrase, I'm too. I know what it is already. What do you think, Donnie? I think it's, I'm too good looking. I know that's what I would put in on Google anyway. Wrong, Donald, but it's okay. You have three more guesses, though. I can't believe that was wrong. Why would anyone put that Donnie? Because I have that problem all the time. I am too good looking. Girls are just too intimidated to speak to me because I'm too sexy. Ooh, maybe the answer is I'm too sexy. No, Donald, why would anyone Google search that? Ha ha! In your face, Obama. I just got five right answers with one guess. I am the king of Google feud. I told you I am too sexy. Holy sh**. Trumpy Rumpy, that was impressive. Your score is 36,000 with still three more guesses. Oh my God, I completely forgot about the song called I'm Too Sexy for My Shirt. Donald, you are so lucky. It's not luck, Obama, it's pure skill. If you were as sexy and smart as me, you would understand. Oh, maybe the next one is I'm Too Smart. If this is right, I'm never playing this game again. Damn it, I was sure that was going to be right. You still have two more guesses, Trumpy, and you actually doing really well? I'm just gonna start filling in words that relate to me and hope other people are Googling the same thing. Oh yeah, what other problems? Problems do you have apart from being too sexy and smart Trump? I'm too successful, so I'm gonna put that- How can someone be too successful, you idiot? Unlucky Trumpy Rumpy, you have one more guess remaining. I don't care, I only have one more guess. I already have 36,000 points. There's no way you two morons are gonna beat my score. We will see Trumpy Rumpy. If I can beat you at being the president, I think I can beat you at Google Feud. Damn, sick burn, Biden. Fake news, old man. You rigged the votes just like how you are rigging these Google search results right now? No one is rigging the Google search results, you idiot. It's it's just that no one is worried that they are too successful. Fine, I think I know what the 7,000 point answer is. And it's a problem that I face every single day of my life. Let's hear it, Donnie. What's the biggest problem you face? It's that I'm too good for this planet, so that's what I'm going for. I'm too good for this planet. You really think people are typing that into Google? You're an idiot. I still got 36,000 points, Obama. You and Sleepy Joe have no chance at beating that. We will see, Trumpy Rumpy. I want to go next. Okay, Joe can go next, but let's see what the correct answers from Trump's round were first. The fourth most searched thing on Google is, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. What the actual f is that? How was I ever supposed to guess that? By getting good Trump, you are trash. I would have got that. Screw you, Biden, it's your turn. Let's see if you can beat 36,000 points. Yes, let's click next round and see what Joe's Google search is. What the f this one is messed up. Where can I buy human? Hmm. What's your first guess then, Joe? What are you thinking? I'm thinking about ice cream, chocolate chip ice cream to be exact. I'm talking about Google feud, you idiot. What's gonna be your first guess here? Oh, right, yeah, I forgot about that. What about human ice cream? Can you buy human ice cream anywhere? How the f would human ice cream work Sleepy Joe? Just like normal ice cream, but instead of using cow's milk, you just have to milk a human breast and use human milk. What the actual f Joe. Please never say the sentence, milk a human breast ever again. I'm going to have nightmares about that. What's now. wrong about milking a human breast? Me and Jill do that. Joe, stop talking and just put your first guess. Okay. My first guess is, where can I buy human ice cream? I will be worried for the human race if this is correct. Damn it! I'm also grateful no one is searching that on Google. I can't believe no one is searching that. What's your second guess then, Sleepy Joe, you dirty human breast milker? Well, if no one is searching for human ice cream, surely people are searching where to buy human milk so they can make homemade human ice cream cream with the human Biden, milk. what the f is wrong with you? No one is buying human ice cream or human milk. We will see Trumpy Rumpy. My guess is where can I buy human milk? Oh my God, he actually got it right. Boom, 7,000 points for human milk. I told you, Trumpy Rumpy. That's only in the Google search list because you search for it 100 times a day. 
you old, sick, twisted breast milk drinker. Good job on the 7,000 points, though, Joe. What's your next guess? My next guess is, where can I buy human clothes? What sort of psychopath Googles human clothes? You would just Google clothes, you moron. Settle down, Trump. You were having some stupid-ass guesses on your turn as well. Yeah, shut up, Trump, before I pour my human milk over you. If you come near me with your human milk, I will break every bone in your body, Biden. Bone, that's a good one. That's my next guess. Where can I buy human bones? No one is buying human bones, Biden. Oh, my God, apparently they are. Why the f- are so many people buying human milk and human bones. Another 8,000 points I'm catching you, Trumpy Rumpy. This is ridiculous. If you want us to play more Google Feud, comment below and we will make a full video on it. My next guess, I think, is a really good one. I think it will be the 10,000 point answer, but I don't think you two will like it. It can't be worse than human bones. What is it, old man? What about human meat? No, Biden, don't even type that. That is disgusting to even think about. I'm doing it. Where can I buy human meat? Thank God that was wrong. You have one wrong guess remaining, old man. And you are so many points behind me. What's your last guess, Sleepy Joe? Hmm, I have a good idea, which I think will get a lot of points. What about human hair? That's actually a good idea for once, Biden. That will definitely be on there. I'm going for it. Where can I buy human hair? Holy crap, Joe. You got almost all of them with one guess. In your face, Donnie. What the f***? You are a cheater, Biden. You hacked into the Google and looked at the answers, didn't Joe you? Joe might actually have more points than Trump now after that. We will have to wait and see the final scores at the end. Hurry up and take your last guess, Biden, you cheater, so we can get Obama's turn out of the way. Okay, my last guess is where can I buy human limbs? Thank God his turn is finally over. The answers you were missing were growth hormones, blood, and teeth. Not bad, Joe. What weirdos are buying human teeth? Obama, it is your turn. Yes, last but not least, it is my turn. Let's see what I get. I ate a small piece of, maybe this one is linked to my one, try human bones, obama Rama. No, I'm not listening to your sick answers, Biden. I just got to think what small objects are people eating and worried enough about it to Google it. I mean, I would be pretty worried if I swallowed a human bone. I'm not listening to either of you. I want to win this to prove I'm smarter than both of you. I imagine a lot of people accidentally eat mold stuff, so my first guess is I ate a small piece of mold. Good job, Obama-rama. Two correct answers on your first guess. Thanks, Joe. 5,000 and 3,000, I'm happy with that. You are still way behind me, Obama, you loser. Well, I still have loads of guesses left, Trump. And I have plenty more ideas what could be on there. Try Wasabi Obama. Remember that time Trump accidentally ate Wasabi. That was funny. I never accidentally ate Wasabi, you moron. We worked out earlier, you dreamt that, you sick old man. F*** it, I'll try it anyway. I ate a small piece of Wasabi. One guess down, Obama, and you are still way behind on points. Well, that's the last time I listened to Joe's answers. Just try aluminum foil Obama-rama. Trust me, I eat that stuff all the time. No, Joe, you idiot. No one accidentally eats foil. I bet lots of people accidentally undercook raw chicken. So my next guess is I ate a small piece of raw chicken. Good job, Obama-rama. You got the 7,000-point answer. I bet the 10,000-point answer is foil. Stop trying to get me to put foil Biden. Try water, Obama. Newsflash Trump, you cannot eat water, but you can eat ice. I'll try that. I ate a small piece of ice. Wrong again, Obama. You suck. Well, it was a better guess than water. Unlucky, Mr. President. You are falling behind now, Did you just call me Mr. President Biden? I'm not the president. You are. I'm the what now? Oh, my God. Never mind. But you are right. I need to get some right answers. My next guess is glass. I ate a small piece of glass. Yes, 8,000. Thousand points. That was a good one. You still suck, Obama. What are you thinking next, Mr. President? I'm thinking metal next. Metal? Who the f- is eating metal broth? I don't know. Stupid people like Joe, maybe. Hey, Obama, Rama, that was mean. I don't eat metal. I only eat aluminum. Aluminum is metal, Joe. You idiot. My next guess is I ate a small piece of metal. Ha ha, you're going to lose Barack. You are dumber than Sleepy Joe. Just put aluminum foil to guarantee the 10,000 points, Obama Rama. I'm not putting aluminum foil, Joe. Stop saying that. My next guess is plastic. I ate a small piece of plastic. 9,000 points there, Barack. Not bad. But you have no chance of beating me or Sleepy Joe without getting the 10,000 point answer. I know, Donald. I am a bit stuck on ideas here what it could be. I wonder if any of the viewers know the answer right now. I bet the viewers are screaming foil at their screens because that's clearly the top answer. Oh, my God. Shut up, Joe, you idiot. It is not going to be foil. My last guess is hair, because I can't think of anything else. I ate a small piece of hair. Ha ha, you suck, Obama. That's all your guess is gone. Oh my God, I don't believe it. You don't believe what? How badly you suck at this game? No, I've just seen Biden was right. Aluminum foil was the top answer. What the actual f- I told you, Obama-rama, you should have trusted me. I don't believe it. I'm sorry for doubting you, Joe. Time to see the results and who won. Oh my God, I don't believe it. Joe actually won and Trump, you came second. It's all the foil I eat, Obama. It makes me smarter. Comment below if you're to see more Google feud. And comment below what Obama's punishment should be for losing. Everyone subscribe to Parody Gaming.